Hi everyone, it's me again. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to watch episode 48 of Attack of Titan. Last episode, episode 47, we did learn a little bit more, more about uh, Kenny, Yuri, and that friendship that was born the moment, uh, literally they were about to kill each other. And I don't know, that friendship that they built, I don't know, something is just, it's so captivating so mesmerizing uh, i definitely need to watch a video about uh that friendship i know there's like uh i remember starting my recommendation something about the beauty of the friendship between uh kenny and yuri so i'm definitely gonna watch it now that i watched that episode hopefully i don't get too many spoilers um i don't know i'll see i definitely want to watch that video but um I'll have to see if there's way too many spoilers because I really don't want to get spoiled at that moment right now. <laughs> uh, but episode 48, the preview for it, um, we're seeing that commander that um, that um, that trained the cadets. So I'm really, really curious to what does he have to do with Grisha? So this is really, really confusing. I really, really want to know what is going to happen in this episode. So let's begin. Bystander. Okay, sigh from her. What? What kind of name is that? That's really, really nice. Wow. <laughs> oh, so that's why he meant that they plugged the wall? So he plugged the wall of Maria already? That's the wall, right? Please say it. I said it right. Yeah, those guys are going to come back soon. Well, they're already inside the Wall of Maria. Her? Wow. Mm, so they did a perch on the snakes. Oh. Oh, there's that guy. I'm confusing with Pastor Nick. Sorry about that. Oh, the hardening ability. Oh, wow. Wow, they did it. Goodness, aunt. Oh, damn. Is he okay? Oh, 
Oh wow, he switched squats. I thought I, that wasn't uh, allowed. <laughs> Come on, dude. She likes you. You just are newbie, dude. Calm down. Because I have gone outside, they, they've seen some shit. Exactly. Do you want to know? Get on your high horse, dude. Why? Mm, that's right, his mom's still a titan. Yeah, exactly. There must be a civilization on the outside. Because that's the only reason why there's so many titans outside. But, yeah. What exactly are you guys fighting? Who are you fighting? That's the guy with the, the train of cadets, if I'm not mistaken. He was a scout? <laughs> not a bad idea. Yeah, it's, it's got to be him. Yeah, it's him. Yeah, I was right. It's him. Oh, so he was the commander before Erwin. Okay, information available for public disclosure. Executioner from Helm. A semi automatic tactic extermination weapon constructed in part of, excuse me, in part by Aaron Jaeger's hardening ability in the wall. It can safely fell and eliminate titans compared to previous methods. What does he know? I guess he's still pretty afraid of them. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's right. It's only been a couple of months. What? Mere bystander. Twenty years ago. Mm. 
Wait, Grisha? Oh, wow. So he came from outside. So I was right. That's weird. So I was right, he came from the outside. That's Aaron's mother, isn't it? Damn. Oh, wait, that's the very first episode, isn't it? Oh, no, no, it's not the first episode. For some reason, I thought it was. <gasps> Well, there's Aaron. Dude, you let your inferiority complex get the best of you. Oh, 
What? So this is what happened when Yeah, I absolutely agree with her. Don't let your inferiority complex get the best of you. Exactly. So it was him. Okay, freebie, freebie, come on. <gasps> well, goodness, I never expected to see I'm speechless. Wow. Just a mere bystander. Wow, well, I was actually right in the beginning when I said, oh, someone messed up his, um, his little belt thing. And I thought it was John that did it. But to my shock, it was actually Keith. My God. And what... Grish just said about uh, only the special ones, but then what um, Aaron's mom told him, so what if he's not special? Wow, those two, two pers perspectives. Man, I can't believe Keith's uh, impurity uh, complex got the best of him.
and that's the, the main reason he he became a commandant and that's honestly very very sad and it almost in a way reminds me of Bakugo because Bakugo for a long long time he had an inferiority um sorry if I'm saying it wrong um inferiority complex but uh the difference is between Bakugo and Keith Bakugo he got humble he improved he didn't quit Keith did because um Grisha's words like oh some people are special only the special ones uh go to the scouts and that might be true but doesn't matter if you if you're one of the chosen ones one of the special ones of course not what matters is like you don't give up you keep on trying but for key being a bystander to the beginning when all of this began it's pretty insane and in a way, it makes me kind of feel a little bad for Keith. <sighs> I love the part that... Uh, <laughs> I guess in the... Um, when we saw the little side of his story... Uh, <laughs> honestly, I did see it out of her um, trying to help as many people as possible. And even... Uh, Levi supporting her because she wanted to help the kids that live underground and him being a kid from the underground so it's really really nice to see that uh Levi supporting her and even that little punch <laughs> I can't forget that <laughs> but goodness this series is just amazing and I'm really really excited to see the next episode because goodness it looks like we're gonna finally see uh plugging the wall Maria I thought they did it already but I guess they're just the experiments and all of that so um I'm really really excited to see more well it looks like Aaron plugged one of the holes because they need to do the other hole and that's when we're gonna see uh Rainier and Beltod and that beast Titan which we still don't know his identity uh, this series is just getting more more interesting than ever <laughs> Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching and I hope to see you for the next video. Bye.